back again guys um on this one what i was this video what i was gonna do is um just show you some of my flathead fishing gear as a friend's well he invited me to go for a flathead trip this week it's a little early in the season but after all the flood waters we had and the water start to clear up we've have heard of a few nice fish being caught so we thought we'd just go out and have a look and have a play um i was getting my gear ready to go out tomorrow and I thought I'd just show you what I'm going to use because you know I like chasing the big girls over the flats. Um, I'm not one to go out and you know, chase 20, 30 small fish. I, that's, sorry, it can be boring. I'd rather go out and chase two or three big fish with big lures in the flats. It's more fun. But unfortunately that trip was cancelled because now there's more weather moving in. We're meant to get more floods and wind and rain and well, it's already started raining. So I thought I'll just do a video anyway guys and show you my rods and reels and what lures I was going to use and there's a couple of new lures I was going to have a quick chat, chat about I'm going to use hopefully next week we'll do the flathead trip and you'll see them in action hopefully catch fish anyway to get started you've seen it before I'm going to show you again here's one of my this is my main rod this is my big big lure rod well they're not big lures but they're 14 centimeter hard bodies there's a field attacker box I'll show you so that's just Olivia's Okay, 2500, it's got eight pound braid on it. This is an NRX 803, very stiff rod. Great rod for big lures, because when you twitch them, you can really get them dancing. Nice stiff rod. I couldn't tell you what the braid is. I'm pretty sure it's Shimano Kariki. That's the main braid I use. And leader. I'm always using a fluorocarbon leader when I'm tasting flathead in the shallows. Generally, the water's quite, quite clear, so fluorocarbon comes into its own. And with me big lures and the bigger rods, I run 16 pound. That's a 16 pound leader. Okay. Uh, on the other rod, this is the one I cast plastics with. That's a good old sustain 2500. Once again, eight pound braid. I'm actually not sure what that one is. That's really old. I <laughs> should, should change that one. That's still strong. Okay, and it's on a Zodius rod, Shimano Zodius. This thing's an awesome outfit. You feel fish swim past or breathe on it, so sensitive, it's great. And for me plastics, that's, I've run to the end fluorocarbon. That's a 12 pound litre, I'll run 12 pound for most of the plastics. And last but not least, if I'm going trawling, old girl, good old dollar pixie, one of the originals, still works an absolute, absolute treat. This has got six pound braid on it. That's a bronze back Loomis. Well, it used to be until I got you know, bored and painted it. Um, this is a soft rod. I prefer a softer rod when I'm trawling. Some guys like a stiffer rod, but I prefer soft rods. Tend to get better hookup braids to stay connected. And that's a six pound braid. And that one's caught some of the biggest flathead. And yeah, it's good fun when you catch like 80s and 80, 80 pluses on six and four pound. That makes it interesting. And when I'm trawling, that's a 12 pound leader as well. Okay. But what I mainly want to do today is just show you something. A lot of guys don't show you the cheek heads they use. Where's my glasses? There they are. So I mainly run TTs, these things. Okay, I don't mind the coloured heads. Pink's usually my favourite colour, but at times the green works well. And I use two different sizes. Okay, so the green ones here are a 3 8 and they're always a 2 0 hook. So 2 0 hook works well in my favorite plastics atomics okay grubs these things are my favorite plastics it's pretty much any plastic i use okay atomic grubs so they're a 3 8 and any pink ones when i'm fishing really you know really shallow water or low current areas i go down to a quarter but once again two oil hook so they're my two jig heads and they seem to cover all bases and work really well um as for lures, this is just going to pick this up, the camera. Here's my lure box of flathead. You can see I've got a mixture of all sorts of things in there. Okay, heap of micro mullets, not bad. I am a big fan of the good old pig lures, locally made. The gentleman Shane is a nice guy, and makes a cracking lure. I like tro these are my favourite to troll. I prefer them over micro mullets. Uh, the man's fives, oldies and goodies. That's a mixture of God knows what in there. 
And these are the big ones I'm always casting and talking about on the flats. There's a couple there. And underneath I think it's a bit more. What's underneath? Underneath, there we go, some leaders. FC Rock and Nitlon. More big lures. And some grubs here, you can't really see it in the dark, but they're there. Yeah, and there's some spare hooks and trebles and jig heads and bits and pieces. That's the flathead box. I'll just pick that up and go. Okay. But what we're going to do... Talk about... Was this thing? There's a couple of things. Next trip I want to try some different lures. This has come out from Shimano. I'm really not sure about this, but apparently it's a slow sinking. Hopefully you can see that in the box there. It's like a stick bait. But it's got a jointed head and Shimano's yeah, little shimmer plate in there, which I reckon it look really, looks really good. I'm going to use this thing on next trip. I'm going to put this on an NRX and give her a cast around and see what she does over the, over the shallows. It is early in the season, so you can't really judge too, too much yet. I don't know, I think that looks like a whiting. So, look at that thing. I reckon slows, let that slow sink just above the grass beds and give it a good twitch and the action, a little bit of action on that, that's going to that's gonna zigzag and carry on. That's going to look really good. I must admit the hooks are pretty pathetic so I'll change the hooks, they look there as cheap and nasty. But the lure itself looks like a cracker. I can't wait to give that a crack and I reckon flat out will smash that. Hooks are sharp. True blood. And the other one I'm going to try there's a good old MM, MMD, the prawn. I haven't used these things before. I know they're cracking jack lures. Have heard of quite a few guys chasing flatties and doing quite well on them. So I'm going to use that once again over the shallow, the weed beds. And I reckon that will work well too. And look at the hooks on these. They're monsters, they're crackers. You don't have to change that. They're fantastic. So they're two lures I'm going to use in my next flathead trip. I will let you guys know how they go. Um, once again, Atomics, I'll have a, one of those on as well. Because if these don't work, I'll try them just to catch a fish or two. Got to always catch a fish, otherwise can't go home empty handed. Just feels wrong. And apart from them, if everything else fails, we'll just go back to Old Faithfuls. Up on the flats, just 14 centimetre. These are a slow, slow, slow float, hard body. Okay, which means when I twitch them down, they just float back back to the surface very slowly. So I'll get time to pause them. They won't pop to the surface really fast. I'll stay down the strike zone. So you can really rip them hard and then pause and flathead hit them on the pause. So work them hard, give them a good pause. They'll get hit on the pause usually. Okay. White's a good all round color. It's a white and chartreuse, works well. You can see all the scratches and stuff on these things and the fish are caught and from the hooks. And silver, don't be scared to use silver. Silver works a treat. Um, anyway, that's just a basic breakdown. Hopefully next week we can get out for a trip and we'll see how all this, well, all this gear goes. See if we can find some fish. Um, see you in the next video. Oh, once again guys, sorry. If you like these videos, please subscribe and like the videos. It really does help out the channel. And I'll see you next week.